Welcome back. And Dr. Seville, we're gonna move into some healthy recipes for after school. Any thoughts on what well, students should eat after school? Isn't it wonderful that we're going to have this? <laughs> because it's true, you know, a lot of the kids come home Parents aren't there and they are making their own snacks. When they're older and it's safer for them to be home on their own. Or perhaps that's not the case and they come home in elementary school. I can tell you I have a good diet all day and I get home and I want to eat a bunch of calories. So if somebody has even presented me with something healthy to eat, that would be great. So I can't wait to learn something in this segment as well. Thank you. Today's dish will be granola peanut butter balls. The ingredients you will need are two tablespoons of honey, four tablespoons of peanut butter, two cups of granola, and two to four tablespoons of low-fat milk, as needed. The preparation time for this recipe is two minutes. You'll need a measuring cup and measuring spoons, kitchen gloves, a large plate or pan, a spatula, a butter knife, plastic wrap, and a large bowl. After you've prepared all the ingredients, You'll need to, first, mix together in a large bowl the honey and the peanut butter. Then, using a spatula, stir in the granola with the peanut butter honey mixture. Right, you want to mix it all up nice and smooth and even. Add enough milk to just moisten. You want the mixture to stick together. I think that looks good right now. While wearing gloves, Form mixture into balls and spread out on your plate or pan. We could probably put a little bit more milk in there and uh, put them on a plate. Let's finish that off. Chill in refrigerator until the peanut butter balls are firm, then serve. You want to do the first one? And then put them on a plate and put them sure. in the refrigerator. Okay. Is that about good? That's right. That's about right. And it's going to feel like they're going to fall apart. So you want to put them on the plate, kind of hold them together. There you go. Just like that. Perfect. You want to try? Sure. Should that be a little bit more? A little bit more than that. Uh, that good? Perfect. Okay. Kind of form it into a ball. And gently put it on the plate. Good one. <laughs> there you go. Great. Perfect. And that'll set up in the refrigerator nice and hard so that when you go to eat it, um, you just pop it right in your mouth and make two bites. And you can make them smaller if you want to make them one bite. Wow. Cool. So those are great little afternoon snacks when you're feeling a little bit draggy. You can pop a couple of those in and <laughs> get up and going again. Wow, that's cool. And that's all there is to it. You can see more recipes on WPDS TV 14 YouTube page. Dr. Seville, thanks again for joining us. Well, I always appreciate being here. But you know what I hope more than anything else is that we have the attention of the wonderful students of the Pinellas School District, the best district. Yes. But I hope what happens is when they leave that it starts a dialogue at dinner. You know, there are many wonderful websites through the American Academy of Pediatrics, et cetera, where people can get good information. And we talk about how important it is to eat healthy together. Maybe people will sit at dinner and do that and discuss this. And when questions come up, it again is the reason that I hope that everyone out here has a yearly checkup with a physician pediatrician or otherwise, to make sure that the right thing is being said and asked and told to the families. And so this is another reason to go home and say, hey, have I had my yearly checkup? Because I want to find out how healthy I am or I am not. And perhaps by watching us today, it starts that ball rolling. And that would make me more happy than anything. Me too. Well, thanks for joining us. And join us again for our next episode of Community Connections.